All right, what is going on, guys? New Force here, bringing you a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys one of my more traditional videos. Uh, since I've been making a ton about the DLC weapons here in Modern Warfare Remastered, we should be having the last batch of those videos soon. I should be getting the uh, 44 Magnum and the Cam Chaka 12 Gold very soon to bring you guys those videos. And I want to, of course, bring you guys, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, all that kind of stuff. Best class set of videos with both of them. And in today's video, it's going to be a best class setup with the XMLAR. Now, the XMLAR is a brand new assault rifle has been added to Modern Warfare Remastered, and it kind of reminds me of the ACR, so keep that in mind as we go through this class setup. But with that being said, let's just hop right into the class. Alright, now jumping into the class, we have the XMLAR, of course, with Suppressor. That is the one attachment that you can use on this gun, and it would actually be effective. And now for our secondary, we either have the Commander Desert Eagle, the regular Desert Eagle, or the 44 Magnum. All three of them work really well. But of course, if you don't have that unlocked, I would recommend using the USP-45 is the best out of the other three that are available. For our tactical, we have Stun Grenade. And for our perk one, we either have special grenades times three, bandolier, or frags times three. You can use either three of those. Those all work very well. For our perk two, only one will work, and that is stopping power. And for perk three, we have deep impact. And of course, for your melee weapons, it doesn't really matter because none of them are really that good anyway. So now that you guys have actually seen the class, basically what I do want to do is explain why I use the things that I do and why you should use the same things that I do. Now, for the XMLAR's attachment, I use the suppressor because this gun is a very good and very deadly accurate weapon. And it actually kills pretty quickly, so it really does remind me of that ACR. And of course, back in MW3, MW2... Uh, even Black Ops 2 with the AM94, you always saw people running it with a suppressor, and since this thing has such low recoil, running it with a suppressor actually makes it very, very good and very, very viable just to be able to stay off the minimap. You, of course, could run it with no silencer, give it a little bit more power, but with the suppressor, it really doesn't lose that much power, and that is why I think that the suppressor is a great option and should be going on your class if you're going to use this weapon. Now, for our secondary, I use either the Deagle or the Magnum because to me they are the two most powerful pistols in the game. Now of course you don't unlock the, uh, the Deagle until level 42, so if you guys do have the Magnum I would recommend using that, and if you guys don't even have the Magnum or anything like that, the USP-45 is a great pistol, is a great secondary to use, and that is what I would use instead. Now of course I use stun grenades because to me they are the best in the game, you throw them the quickest. I would use flashes except they just throw way too slow in my opinion. If they threw a little bit faster I think I would use them more, but to me they just don't throw fast enough and you, you're not able to actually uh, throw them half the time so to me stuns are just way better in that regard. Now for our first perk you can either use as I said special grenades times three, frags times three, or bandolier. Now I would say you could use special grenades times three because as I said in previous best class set of videos the stun grenades and the elite and the tactical grenades are very good of course you can't use smoke times three that'd be kind of annoying and that would be kind of ridiculous if you could so I can see why they don't let you use smoke grenades times three but even use being able to use stuns times three and flash times three is really good and now for bandolier of course this is a class that you can go on high kill streaks with even without a suppressor this thing can uh, keep you alive for a very long time with its low recoil and its extremely fast kill rate so with that being said, being able to have ammo to actually use with the weapon is very good, and Bandolier is of course a good perk that you see a ton of people running, and that is why. And finally for frags times 3, I don't even think that needs an explanation really, the frag grenades are extremely overpowered in this game, and you guys uh, know about that if you guys have actually played, so I don't think I really need to go into the fact that the frag grenades are overpowered, and that is why you should use them. And for our second perk, I said that you can use... I said that you could use stopping power, now stopping power is of course very good, and if you guys don't know what stopping power does, I believe it adds a either 20 or 30% damage buff to your weapon, that means that it will kill even quicker than what it normally would, and to me stopping power is just the best attachment on this weapon, so I definitely re recommend not best attachment, I meant to say best perk too to run with this weapon, so that is why I would recommend using stopping power. And finally, for our perk 3, I would recommend deep impact for maps like shipment, and basically just any map that you can shoot through the wall, this weapon definitely has the penetration power to be able to shoot through walls, so that is why I think that deep impact is very good and a perk that you should use. Now, with that being said, that's going to be the end of the class setup. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this weapon, if you guys even have got it yet out of the supply drops, or... Um, 
buying it with salvage or uh, bonus parts, just let me know if you guys actually have this weapon yet. That'd be really cool to know. Also, if you guys do, let me know what you guys think about this class and if it is any good. And with that being said, this, as I said, it's going to be the end of the video. So this has been the new enforcer. Leave a like and please subscribe for the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.